Hi, um, I'm Alfred, and everyone, hi. Welcome back to 300 Second Craft, the show where I watch bad Instagram life hacks and talk about them, sparing you from the misery they bring. That's right. I accept all the suffering and pass the savings on to you. Um, this one's called 42 Genius Hacks That'll Take Your Life to a Whole New Level. I will examine these and see if these are anywhere near taking my life to another level. Um, we're going to just jump right in. All right. Bad intro. This intro still sucks. Yep, there it is. There's the intro. All right. Hacks with egg trays, it says. There's two faces painted on eggs, and the egg tray's on fire, and they're crying. Hold on, I really want to go back and look at these eggs. Yeah, one of them has their mouth open and is just inconsolable about the fact that they're in a burning egg tray. And the other one is <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Who made that? Why would they like, oh yeah, we need one of these. Hell yeah. Get one of these going. Hey Gary, have we made one of these yet? All right, what are the hacks, fellas? Show me gadget holder and they put an apple brand ipad in there which is of course playing a five minute craft video but not in the app it's playing it on youtube browser like it's on safari compactness oh they just show you how to squish up your eggs so you can put it in the trash i guess that's not a really hack for it um next one's overheating you just put a giant egg tray underneath your computer and it'll it won't burn you you can use it as an ottoman, I guess. Yeah, they just put a bunch of egg trays together. They tied them together with string, and they put a pillow on top of it, and they said that's furniture. You can use it as a stand. They put it in their refrigerator and just put a bunch of condiments in it. Oh, maintaining order. If you arm your egg trays with a gun, they will isolate outstanders. Um, they just put it in their craft drawer. For superstars, they're taping a bunch of egg trays to the wall. And now they made a crappy recording studio that looks like the inside of what hell and or Kentucky is. Uh, portable kindling. They've put a bunch of charcoal into a uh, egg container. Crib. Oh, no. Don't do this to me. They're putting string. Oh, and it's crib. What? I don't get it. Wait, I'm pausing it here. What do you mean crib? Like... They didn't put plants in them. They put bird seed in there. Did they... Is it for birds? Is that what a crib is? What is that? What? I'm so confused. I'm diving back in. Um, the next use is prank. They put kinder eggs in there. Hey, way to reveal that you're not from here. Uh, it shoots glitter everywhere. And then there's a card that says happy birthday in there. That's not a prank. That's just a birthday gift. Use it for seeds, because everyone has to put some seeds in there. Isn't getting it wet not amazing? It's cardboard. In a couple months, you'll have flowers that are not in an egg tray. You clearly moved them. No camera, no Photoshop camera hacks. Oh, that's bad. Someone's just smearing a camera lens with lipstick. Oh, Lord, why? Through the glasses. All right. Someone's holding an unfocused camera up to a pair of glasses to hyper-focus the what's in there chapstick for a dreamy effect oh that really hurts dude they're really just scraping a camera lens with chapstick to put a what is that a gaussian blur on there it's just shaped bokeh what bokeh i don't know this word hold on i'm gonna google it they've hold on i'm so confused by this i have to google it Okay. Bokeh, also known as bokeh, is one of the most popular subjects in photography. It's because vo bokeh makes photographs visually appealing, for forcing, forcing our focus to a particular area. The word comes from Japanese language, which is translated as blur. Why not just say blur? And also, why spell it wrong? It's spelled with an H in the video and in a lot of other places. But bokeh is 
a Japanese word that I already knew. And granted, I know it as Boke and Tsukomi. Why? Anyway, what they did is they cut a... <sighs> Lord. Okay, so they cut a piece of paper and they cut a heart into it and then they taped the piece of paper over the camera and now there's a weird filter on it, whatever. Who cares? Um, Kind of looks like crap. Light drawing. They've sh they've shut. Oh Lord! They've set the shutter to be as low as it'll go, and then they're just doing that drawing thing with a flashlight. This isn't really taking my life to a whole new level yet. Belt sling. Okay, so they're putting a camera in a belt, just a leather dad belt. Is there a brand name for that type of belt? Sunbeater belt sling they're just kind of swinging it back and forth very slowly oh i guess it's supposed to be used as like a steady cam okay there's a woman with perfect lipstick biting onto a american quarter six life coin hacks okay the first one is tire depth test if you put an american quarter into your the groove of your tires you'll see it okay riding bike hold on wait if you put a coin into the groove of your tire, you'll see the tire, how unfilled it is? Just kick it, dude. All right. The next one's riding a bike in a skirt. There's a woman doing a mediocre strip show where she's just kind of flashing her skirt a little bit. And then she is putting a coin in her skirt and putting a rubber band around the coin. And it looks like she's just sucked part of her dress into her crotch. <laughs> and now her skirt won't go up when she bikes. Okay, the next one is open locked door. And if you have one of these trashy Euro locks, you can put a coin in there and open it. Pencil rubbing. This isn't a life hack and this doesn't take anyone's life to the next level. They just put a piece of paper over a coin and then they rubbed it with a pencil. Coin screwdriver. This is the same hack as the lock picking one. If you don't have a flathead screwdriver, you can use a coin if the screw is big enough. Wrong size wrench. We've seen this one. Put a coin in there, though, and it'll apparently work, kind of. Although, again, who is this for? When you, I'm pausing it. When you buy wrenches, there's like 50 wrenches in there. There's like a billion wrenches in that bag, in, in that big old plastic, like, briefcase. And it's a matter of, hey, is this the right size wrench? No, go to the next one. Okay, go to the next one. Go to the and you can do that like twenty times. I own about forty wrenches, because somebody, my grandfather, just bought me a kit for wrenches. Like you gotta be the man of the house. You have to enforce the hetero ways of me and my forefathers. And I said, sure. Um. Sure, Gramps. But uh, what is what is the obsession with using wrenches in the wrong way? Why do you need to use the wrong size of a wrench and then fix it with a coin? Don't you just have the right side of wrench? And that's only if the if the wrench is too big. They have nothing. They, they, the The silence of what to do if your wrench is too small is deafening. It's because the hack isn't that useful. Just use the right wrench, you know? I'm not a strong believer in the right tool for the job. I have used a hammer to cook hamburger meat. Um, but even I, like, I know that they put 40 wrenches in a box for a reason. Ugh. All right. The next hack. Now that we can find, now that I can get this off my plate. And I'm, what, 10 minutes into this recording? Yep. About 10 minutes into the recording, but only five minutes into the video, we can get into the next hack, which is eight original uses for scotch tape. We'll see how original they are, whoever you are, not five minutes. Okay. Put scotch tape on the end of your shoelace to replace your aglet, and then you can put it through the little hole. They clearly rewrapped it a couple times or just got a new pair of shoelaces because that job that they did on the wrap 
was not as good as they showed in the video. You can scotch tape your bracelet to your wrist and then you can do the clasp and it's easy. If you want to measure how far to drill something, just put some tape on your drill and then when you get to the tape, stop. Okay. They've put a bunch of screws onto a piece of tape. That wasn't scotch tape, by the way. It was like packing tape. And then they just kind of wrapped the screws in there and then just threw them in a toolbox. Um, then they used double-sided tape to stick a bathroom mat to the bathroom. That isn't scotch tape again. Um, here's scotch tape, and they've used it to pull a... They've used it to pull a... Hold on. That doesn't look right at all. They've used it to pull a splinter out of someone's hand. But there's no wound, and they're showing... They're doing their best to cover where the wound would be with the tape itself. And it looks like they're just trying to conceal that there wasn't a wound and that they had just stuck wood onto someone's fingertip and then acted like they were going to pull it off with scotch tape. Which is, again, about as you know evil as I would anticipate. The next one is duct tape, which is, again, not scotch tape. I'm going to skip back in the video. Eight original, use, eight original tips for using scotch tape. Excuse me. That's what it says. Eight original tips for using scotch tape. Yeah, these are not scotch tape, dude. All right, but you can put duct tape on the lid of a jam jar and use it to wrench the jar open. Sure. Okay. Now we've just skipped to a rug. Uh, there's a dent in the rug because the couch was on it, and then they put a damp towel over it and then ran a clothing iron over it, and it steamed the rug back up to being fluffy. Is there a country that I don't know about where, like, if someone sees you with, like, a dent in your rug, you get immediately disemboweled? Because I assume that, like, my grandma was raised there. Like, it was some sort of cardinal sin to, like, have chairs on rugs for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I'm not talking about the video now, and I'm just kind of pause, like, pause the video as well. Uh, and I don't mean to interrupt you're watching or my reading of this, but I've just noticed that my cat has been sitting in my doorway and he's been just staring at me. And I think he must be confused about what his dad is doing. And buddy, me too. You know, <laughs> me too. You fat little blob. All right. He's closing his eyes. Maybe he's going to sleep. Good night, kiddo. All right. Anyway, back to the video. Someone's made a crappy child's drawing of a house. And then they're covering it with a towel and then running over it with a clothing iron again. And I guess they put plastic over it because they didn't show them doing that. Let me just check. Nope. Okay, they did. I missed that because I was looking at my cat. Anyway, they waterproofed it with, you know, laminate. Um, I hope you can get your towel off of the plastic because they didn't show how to do that. But anyway, they waterproofed this crappy child's drawing and then they put it on the, on the fridge. Anyway. Now they've used a clothing iron to cut... They cut a bottle in half and then they use a clothing iron to tamp down the top and then they used it to hold their pens, I guess. Okay, cool. Now they've wrapped a grilled cheese in tin foil and then they put a clothing iron on top of it to grill the cheese perfectly. I don't know if it works like that. Okay, this idiot's pounding a nail into a wall. And he's just wailed on the wood here. But luckily, I've got my hair dryer. Uh, they used steam to... They just sprayed it with water and then they ironed it and I guess it worked. Now we're, work now we're looking at a woman's breasts. She's opened her shirt. Oh, she's used a bobby pin to keep her earbuds inside her shirt. And then this guy used a bobby pin to keep his belt attached to his belt. And then that guy put a bobby pin on his tie for some reason. This woman appears to be using a bobby pin as a bookmark. Um, I mean, I assume it's a woman. It's very slender fingers and pink nail polish, but, you know, 
live your life. Do what you do. Um, someone's using a bobby pin to hammer a screw. I think that's a screw. You don't hammer a screw into anything. But um, also, we already learned that. it's You use a comb. Anyway, here's someone using either a bobby pin or a strip of cardboard to keep duct tape easier to handle. Put a bobby pin to replace your broken zippers. Wow, it almost doesn't look like crap. 300 seconds worth, in fact. Um, okay. Someone's got, what is that? Piece of vinyl? Okay, yeah, it's another piece of double stick tape. And they have just taped down... Or is, oh, it's magnetic tape. Okay, so they put down tape inside of their drawer. And then they put down... And then they just stuck all their hair stuff on the side. Whatever. It's okay. Mod Podge is the next one. Cover a piece of wood and Mod Podge. And then put a picture on there. Leave for 24 hours. Five minutes, huh? 24 hours, my white butt. Five minute experiments. Anyway, then you just scrape it off after you get it wet. And then you have wood that has a crappy picture of your ugly family on it. I'll tell you what, though. That dog is pretty, pretty pimping. And you put it in Mod Podge, let it dry even more. Jeez. You had already exceeded your five-minute time limit by 23 hours and 55 minutes. Can I let it dry even more, champ? Whatever. They finished a, uh, um, a puzzle... I hate puzzles, by the way. But they finished a puzzle of a cat, and they just covered it in Mod Podge, and they put in a picture frame, and they put it on their wall. That's amazing. Brilliant. Great. That doesn't suck at all. They put some hoisery into one of those little crafting circles, those little things that you make, the, the things that go on the wall, the little, I can do all things through God who strengthens me, you know? Um, they're drawing a unicorn on, on it. And then they have, like, a reverse of some unicorn. That's all right, I guess. And they're putting Mod Podge on it. Okay. And then they're putting cardboard into a shirt. And they put the unicorn down on there. And then they put down some fabric paint. Okay, I see where they're going with this. And then they have a okay, otherwise plain white t-shirt. Um, using a bottleneck put over the head of a hairdryer, you can fill up an air mattress. Don't air mattresses just come with fillers? I guess we're doing hairdryer hacks now. Someone has put a hairdryer on a band-aid to make it easier to take off, I guess. Some idiot child, some idiot, what, what are you, like eight-year-old? You should know by now, has been drawing on the wall in crayon. Using a hairdryer, you can kind of melted i guess yeah they just cut to it being gone after she like swipes at it a little bit with a dish towel whatever spray a shirt with water and then get your hair dryer out and just start blowing it just keep on blowing just keep on keeping on blowing i guess the shirt's good now okay some ugly kid has put a stupid christmas sticker on a chair and you can't peel a sticker off. It's physically impossible. No one's ever done it. But if you use a hair dryer, apparently it can be done. I don't know, but... Oh, God. Cardinal Sin. Someone's got wax on this table. Use your hair dryer. Blow it away and then wipe it away with a paper towel. You've broken your zipper, you fool. Put a paper clip on there. Now you don't look... What? I guess it works, but didn't you already teach us that? Okay, using a paper clip, you can take the SIM card out of your iPhone. Yeah? I mean, a lot of people already know that, but most people don't really need to do it. Oh, whatever. Okay, twisting your paper clip, you can make a heart. It's trendy, lol. Okay, glue. Use a paper clip to puncture the glue because you just leave the residue of your past crafting mistakes on there. Okay. Oh, your wrapping paper's too small. Get some foil. Aluminum foil? That stuff's expensive, bro. You got aluminum foil present wrapping money? Then go ahead. 
and then you put a ribbon around it. Hey, I guess it saves money on tape, but I don't think the tape is like your lost leader here. I think tape is the cheap part of this equation. All right, brown bag, a sandwich bag, a lunch bag, just whatever, you know? They put a box or something in there, and then they're taping the brown bag to it tight. You can kind of see through it, you know? It's not what you're really, not the idea of, wrapping a present to, you know, make it visible. Um, now they've covered a shoebox in butch paper, and then they put a few rubber bands on it, and that's supposed to hold all Christmas. This is an ugly tree. All right, they're vacuuming a couch in a white void room, honestly. Like, the wall and the floor are the same color. What the hell is this? And then they put a sock over their vacuum hose and then they sucked up some stuff and it got stuck in the sock and then you can take the sock out whatever that's okay um hey if you want to clean your car you can use a little paper towel rack and just tamp it down tight and put it on your vacuum nose oh that's funny <laughs> they've uh used a bottle cap and a straw to make the hole of the vacuum really tight and then they just made space bag space bag was already invented but go off um, using an old TV. Nope, that's a phone. They took out the battery and they're just sucking the water out using that same like straw thing. Okay, shoe freshener, but they've put tea bags in there. It appears to be Lipton brand tea. Okay. And you can dip a towel in tea and then rub it on wood to restore it, I think. You can put tea in a spray bottle. Where are you going with this? And clean a mirror with it. You can spray your plants with it and it'll protect against pests. Someone is wiping their face with a tea bag. This is deeply unsettling. Cutting, cutting garlic. Cool, yeah. I like garlic. Washing your hands with a tea bag will get the garlic smell off. Or you could just have that delicious garlicky scent just all day long. Garlic stays with you. It's for the long haul. And then they just put some tea bags on a plate and they were like, hey, it keeps the pests away. Yeah, if I walk in your house and I see just like 20 tea bags just like sitting out on a plate in the middle of nowhere, I'm just going to start running. I'm just I'm just going to leave. Like in this in the same vein that like I see someone with a live, laugh, love sign on their wall, I'm just going to throw a brick through their window and escape. Like if I see a bunch of tea bags, I'm just going to get the hell out of there. Um, most of these comments are about the thumbnail of this video, which is a paperclip sticking out of the battery slot in a phone, uh, which is a hack that is not in this video. Um, a lot of people are commenting about like, Hey, who watches these and doesn't do them? Oh, it's just me. I'm so trendy, bro. I've already seen five other comments that say that. And your comment alone has th over 300 likes and 34 replies. What if a criminal is watching this? Now they know how to open a locked door. Yeah, but like in the middle of Europe where there's no crime ever. Also, it only works to those specific kinds of doors. Uh, bruh, I stuck a paperclip in my phone and it kind of blew up. What are the replies to this? <laughs> then how are you typing this, Dumbo, says some 12-year-old. Dumbo. Crime inently. You know, a lot of people have more than one device. They don't live their life through their phone pay four thousand dollars for a camera five dollars for lipstick or seven dollars for photoshop tough choices lily anderson um never do that camera effect stuff it'll likely permanently damage your lens and you can replicate this effect on literally any visual editing software in 30 seconds yeah my life is still on the same level says dragonfall 75 and you know what, Dragonfall 75, you're right. I have not been elevated to the 8th dimension. The 8th gate is still closed to me. I am not smarter for watching this video. If anything, I'm stupider. And that's 
300 second crap everyone that's the show that's the whole damn thing um thanks for coming by thanks for listening and or watching um remember to drink some water have a nice dang day that's 300 second crap baby